my father. He owns the island. He's go the car. You just like police stuff? What is that? What is policing? I don't care. I want them to take me with you. Suspects often attempt to avoid arrest by any means necessary, but what happens when entitled kids try to get out of trouble? In this video, we'll cover three suspects who found out the hard way that no one is above the law. Starting with the case of Stephanie Bloodworth. On February 21, 2021, police respond to reports of a Tesla driving recklessly. But when they locate the vehicle parked on the side of the road, something unexpected happens. The Tesla flees as soon as the officer exits his vehicle, but will inexplicably stop just a few blocks later. The driver will seem oddly confused by the officer's orders, much to his increasing exasperation. That is until she decides she doesn't have to follow orders if she doesn't want to. Both ends, stay in the fucking vehicle! Fifth to 11, she's getting out. Come here. Come here. Stand in front of my patrol vehicle right now. Right now. Ma'am! Ma'am? Yeah? You need to come over here right now. Why? Because I'm telling you to. You're running from me. I did not. I'm right here. Yeah. Now you are. So, what do you want? Ma'am. What do you need? Do you need me to pepper spray you? You need to get over here right now. For what? Turn around! For what? 5th 11, she's refusing to comply. Get a... Uh, Get out of the vehicle! You got me f***ed up, bro. I own this Actively island. resistant. Get out of the f Get out of the vehicle! She's taking off! She'll once again flee, but the officer catches up with her just a few blocks later. Over. Oh my god, dad! They're arresting Stop me! Resisting. What the hell, dude? What are you doing? Don't resist. What are you doing, dude? You didn't even know me. Dad, they're arresting me! Stop resisting! Throw my lights and starts speeding like 60 miles an hour through the neighborhood. And she took off again. Oh, I'm face hurts. Uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot yeah, hurts right now. Move? No, this is what happens when you flee and then you kick me. I didn't flee and I didn't kick you. So those lights and sirens mean nothing? We're just out Can here. I call my father. No, no. He owns the island. 5 to 11, you can okay. really see her. Call my father. I'm not calling your dad. Then what are you how gonna old do? Are you, how old are you? I'm 24. Okay, 24, we don't need to call your dad. Yeah, you're right, and you're not gonna take me in either. As the suspect screams for her father, who's listening helplessly on the other line, more police arrive to detain her and secure the chaotic scene. Despite her baseless claims that her dad owns the island, he owns the island. This officer will make things clear right off the bat that she will not tolerate the behavior. Right, you, you, need a, you need to notify him. I don't need to notify anyone. You're can an adult. You, can you notify? No. I'm not notifying anyone. You want to put her in the back? 
Wait, what, what, what's yeah. happening? I have a def- I mean, she's sick one, I can smell it. Yeah, I know. What did I do? You ran from me. You, one, you ran. That's one. Two. You ran from what? Him. How much? You know what? I'm not even going to ask you any questions. All right, you got her. I'm going to go ahead and pat her down. Yeah. Okay. Pat me down. Please. Okay. Well, Liam, call him. Alright, just hold her. I don't I don't trust her. Kima, how are you? Cool. No, I'm not here. It's 24 years old. I am not calling your dad. I'm here on my dad's property. You're in the middle of the road. Yeah, what did I do? Bro. Okay, for the third time, you fled. I dropped fled my, from my flat. What? Can you get my he flashlight? ran too. Who ran too? Do you have anything on you that's no, gonna No, I don't. Me? Okay. Well, don't act all shocked. No, I just like I'm shocked because this never I'm, happened. Okay. Well. <laughs> please call my dad. No. I listen. No, I need my dad here before you do anything to me. No, that's not how this works. You're 24 years old. I don't care. I, that was an adrenaline rush. I didn't do anything wrong, and I need my dad here. No, that's, that's where I was. Look. Oh, you are not doing this. You're lucky I didn't tase you, I swear. The officers agree they smell wine on the suspect's breath, but a DUI is now just one of many charges she could face. She seems oblivious as police explain her offenses or perhaps just doesn't think there should be any consequences for her actions. She refuses to go quietly and police find a curious item cupped in her hand, pepper spray. They'll discuss having her perform a field sobriety test, but it's unclear if she's even able to understand the charges officers tell her she may potentially face. Do you want to participate in standard field sobriety exercises to dispel my belief that you're driving under the influence? Yes, of course I'm not. You're, you're, I'm not. I'm not driving. I've been clean. You need I've been to listen clean to for I've been clean for three years. I've been clean for three years. I don't know why this is happening to me. <laughs> Ma'am, okay. are you gonna do field sobriety exercises? Because I feel I like you're under care. the. I don't care. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's anything you want. Okay. Alright, um. You want me to go ahead and uh, get it set up? Are you gonna do field sobriety exercises, ma'am? I need to know if you're. I need you to bring my dad on. No, no, that's not gonna happen. Ma'am, I need to know, are you going to do field sobriety exercises or not? Who is this when? guy? I don't know. That's my dad. Okay. Well, he's got to go. No, he doesn't. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> dad! Ma'am! Dad! Dad! I've been living on this island for three years. Why do you do this to me now? Considering she's still resisting, it may be impossible to perform a field sobriety test. But police have another problem to deal with. The suspect's father has arrived on scene. But as they attempt to put her in the squad car, she continues to be non-cooperative in ever-surprising ways. Can I talk to him? Nope. Negative. Can I know? <laughs> Get in. I don't know. Get in! Get in! Dad! Dad! We got resisting with violence. You didn't tell me why you're putting me in the car. Because you were going to jail. Why? Why? Why am I going to jail? What did I do? You gonna calm down? Why am I going to jail? Are you gonna calm down if you talk to your dad? But why did I go to jail? Yes, please let me talk to my dad. Please, let me talk to my dad. Please, please, I won't move at all. What is her name? Stephanie. Stephanie, Stephanie, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm going to stand you up and I'm going to let you talk to your dad. You tried to hit another one of these deputies I won't. and you are not talking to him. I won't. I just want to talk to him. She's yeah. getting back. Get up. Oh. She's got resisting with us. Oh. Absolutely. You want to talk to your dad? Smell the alcohol the coming off her breath. No, I need to talk to my dad. Okay, and he's coming you over. You already here. is. Yeah. Stephanie, you have to calm down. 
Copy, 7827 And you were speeding. And, and now the way you've acted, you've gotten yourself in a deep hole and they're going to take you to jail. You're going to have to calm down. Huh? down. There's nothing I can do. Just, just see why, see why. Calm down. I'll get down there and see you. Okay, I'll try to get down there and like. But you can't. You can't start acting out. It's just going to get worse. What did I do? Well, you bought this. I don't know it. What did you, I do? You know what you, you know what you've done. No, I don't. What did I do? Please. So. What did I I'll come do? down there if they'll Why are there so many lights? Why? With the suspect continuing to resist, officers agree to allow her to talk to her father, if only to try to calm her down enough to transport her to jail. But unlike his daughter, he's calm and courteous to police, and she finds that he's not as sympathetic as she hoped. It seems that he's finally going to try to make her accountable for her action. Dad, why are they upset? <laughs> you don't need to ask why. You don't need to do anything no. except know that you're going to jail and we'll deal with this. <laughs> Stop. Uh, why am I going to jail? Because you were speeding, you ran stop signs. Where was the speed? Well, that's probably well, you don't know. Well, do they know? Or what? You didn't tell me. Oh you didn't gosh. even read me my rights. Dad! They didn't read me my rights, so they don't tell me why I'm going in. Damn. We told you. Damn. Dad! You resist, you're going to catch more charges. I'm not resisting. I'm right here. Get in the car, though, right now. Dad! What is happening? We've told you. No, but like, I... As her father is forced to turn his back on her, the suspect continues to argue with police, seemingly still unaware, even after all this time, that her efforts are hopeless. The suspect will later be charged with multiple crimes, including felony resisting arrests, eluding police, misdemeanor DUI, and reckless driving. But if you thought Stephanie was a crazy and entitled kid, then you definitely don't know the case of Alexandria. My dad is obviously, like, demented, and he's got, like, an issue that I can't diagnose. Dad, help me! <laughs> Get off me! Stop touching me! On September 18, 2022, police respond to reports of a young woman refusing to exit her father's vehicle. But when they arrive on the scene, they'll discover the frustrated father at the end of his rope and his entitled daughter acting as if the rules don't apply to her. You have to get out because it's his car, it's his property. I don't think so. I think no, no because it, I'm, I'm letting you know. No. But that's how that works. Okay, well, I'm going to be sitting here. So, whenever he's ready. He doesn't want to drive. You don't want to drive her home? No, I do not. I think he might no, be I having some sort of like this is... like early dementia or something, but he is yeah, not acting like himself. Uh, we were just going to go to Starbucks, and then he said that he had to go, and I can't remember if he said he needed to take a package somewhere. Yeah, I didn't bring her down here. I, I got her a couple of gift cards because she doesn't have a job. He did. He, well, he just got me a gift She's card. She's supposed to be in a rehab facility, but somehow managed to get kicked out of it and showed up back at the apartment. So I felt sorry for her. My mistake. Gave her more money, gave her more things to do, took her here so she could get food. Not only did she not get food, she refused to get out of the car. And now she refuses well, to get just, out of it at all. I'm and just trying to spend the, the day with I'm sorry, I'll like, go out and run errands. We're just it's trying to run errands. Ridiculous. The officer tells the suspect that exiting the vehicle isn't up for discussion, and if her father doesn't want her in it, she's technically trespassing. She says that he has early dementia, but his behavior doesn't appear to show any signs of this. He provides crucial context to his daughter's odd behavior, saying that she was just kicked out of the rehab facility, and after refusing his help, refused to leave. I'm not trying to live in this car, you know what I mean? So Yeah, but you're not trying to get out of this car. Correct, which right, right now, now you're leaving the law because it's not your car, so you're trespassing. So I go on Ubers. Okay, Ubers with or... the permission of the person. He does not want you in his car. You're trespassing mm, in no, his truck. Okay, so we can play this game, but you're going to get arrested. I mean, that's literally how it's going to be, or you could just step out of the car. Like, I'm not trying to be mean to you, but I'm trying to explain something to you, and you're not really willing to listen. Um, you explained it to me, but I would like to shut my door down. I'm not doing that. It's not your door. It's not your car. Okay, I'll just ignore that one. Just get out, Alex. You're making a show His up. door? I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make a show out of it. It's just like, it's frustrating. I see the problem. I didn't want to touch her at this point. No, I understand. I mean, it's definitely your car and you want her out of the car. Can you remember that? I shouldn't have agreed to do it. She's had long-term problems. She's been enabling this bad behavior. And um, it's 
my fault. I, okay. I enabled one more time. So it's not your fault. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I think there's some misunderstanding. I think something's going on with my dad because he's not acting like himself. No, he's acting pretty normal to me. No, I think he's acting like L negative on a twelve twenty one. Blue order registered to Jackson. Maybe like he has early onset like dementia, Alzheimer's. Can we talk outside? No. The officer tries her best to explain to the suspect that she's breaking the law by trespassing and will be arrested if she doesn't comply by exiting the vehicle. But the young woman seems to feel that if she doesn't agree with the order, she doesn't have to follow it. As a supervising officer arrives on scene, she again claims her father has dementia. But officers have enough evidence by now to see who the confused one really is. So you're not Please stop touching me. this car because it's not your car. It's not yours either. Well, that's okay. Right, you're gonna end up. No, you're gonna end up you are. Here. Stop. I'm just gonna pull you out. I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna come out of the car, so do we have to make this harder? I don't want to. Don't pull my arm out of its socket. Well, step out. Don't touch me. Just hold, we'll just get the statement. We're not in a hurry. Okay. Don't touch me. Don't molest me. Please. What's gonna end up happening is we're gonna end up having to use force on I would like to press charges for assault and the well, assault charge. Assault. I just was assaulted. Was battery. So, I want to press charges for battery. Okay. I want to press charges. It's a lawful. I would like to press charges. You don't get to. I'm being held against my will. Great, get out of the car. <laughs> no, you're, I'm being held against my will. Please no. leave. No. So, these are the options. You can get out of the car, you can leave on your own accord, you can walk away, or you're going to end up going with us. Get a judge or something. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Get a judge and a jury and take me to trial. Like, I don't really understand. So, mail me some papers. I mean, I don't know. What, like, what would you like to mail? Uh, whatever the charges are. Like, let me know. Well, right now, are you gonna give me a ticket? Why don't you just give me a ticket? Well, we could give you, but you have to get out of the car. That's the problem. So the main. Or problem a verbal warning. Be like, hey, please don't sit in people's cars so, again if they don't want you in them. An officer begins to remove the suspect from the vehicle before the supervisor stops her. This inspires baseless allegations of abuse from the suspect, but she's immediately informed that she doesn't have a case. The officer lays out her dwindling auctions, and she'll refuse to cooperate, and probably claiming to be her dementia-suffering father's caretaker. Um, so, my dad question. is obviously, like, demented, and he's got, like, an issue that I can't diagnose, right? Um, I'm, I don't know what to do, because he's getting older. Really? Yes, in fact, we live at the same building. Okay. I am his caretaker. So, You're his caretaker? Yes, I am. Fine. And you know what? And how do you care for him? Um, I take care of him. How? Um, I take care of him. You work? Yes, I do. I, I work a lot. I do things. Do. It doesn't matter. What do you do? You sound a lot like my brother used to sound before do? he burned my mom's house down. What do you do? You just like police stuff? What is that? Like, what is policing? That, that is literally my job. I'm a, huh. uh, a supervisor. This isn't your boy. It's not your street? Part of the city. Is that your pavement? It's the cities. Or you, is just that your stone? It's the cities. Okay, so the city. Why okay, in the brick. Who runs the city? Who's like who owns the pavement? I want to talk to whoever owns the road. Who do you think that would be? I don't know. Well, I, I think you would have to try to get in contact with them or something. I don't, know. I don't know. Talk to the bank that like rents out that pavement. I don't know what to tell you. Call someone. But. It'd be really cool if you would just let me shut the door. I'm not a dog dying in a hot car, okay? Okay, what, what is your name? Do you want to put where you see your daughter? Why do you need to know that? All right, ask Zandria. I'm again going to politely ask you to get out of the car. I would tell you my name if I wanted to. Things are going to go not your way in a minute. I don't have them. And I would prefer them not go down that way. Yeah, but they're going to get worse. They're going to get worse. Because what's going to end up happening is you're going to get take, forcefully taken out of the car, and I don't want to do that. Whatever. Because I don't want to, I don't want us to get it hurt, and I want you to get it hurt. So I really would like you to get out of the car so that we don't have to force you to get out of the car, or that force doesn't have to be used. Defiance. That's your choice. Defiance. So you understand the risk that you're taking with this, right? <sighs> okay. That's... Um. No. Um, you're insulting me. What are you doing? No, I'm not going to lie. Put your hands behind your back. No. You're under arrest. No. You're I'm not under, under arrest. arrest. You I'm are. under cardiac arrest. No. You're placed under arrest for trespassing and resisting. You can't do that. We can. 
No, you're not going to. You're not going to. Stop. Stop. I wish we didn't have to. Stop. I wish we didn't have Stop. to. Stop. We tried to work it out with you. Stop. For whatever reason you decided Stop. not to. I'm sorry that this is the way that it had to go. This is not the law. This isn't lawful. I'm not resisting. Stop searching me. Stop touching me. I have to search you. Hey. You're molesting me. You're sexually assaulting me. Stop. You are sexually Stop. assaulting me. No. She's not. Yes, she no, is. She's not. Dad, help me. Please help me. Please help me. Stop. Get off me. Stop. Get off me. Stop. Stop. Resisting. Now you're getting a felony. You have violated the law. Get off me. Stop touching me. Stop resisting. Stop touching me. Stop resisting. Stop touching me. He's mentally ill. Stop touching me! Oh, my arm! Stop it! Sit in the car. Stop it! Can you please pick up your knife and sit in the car? I don't want to have to help you. Stop touching me! Stop touching me! Stop touching me! Stop touching me! The officers give her one last chance to exit the vehicle. With all other methods exhausted and the situation escalating, there's only one thing they can do. Unfortunately for the young woman, she'll have brought it all on herself, and she'll now suffer the consequences. We're going to open the door, okay? You're going to get put back in handcuffs. If you fight us... Do you have a, like, liability policy? Like, do you guys have, like, some sort of, a uh, like, commercial not, health insurance? Do not fight us, okay? What are you so scared of? I don't want to get back I mean, by yeah, I want them. Why don't I get to keep them? No, don't touch me. See? You're touching me again. Stop it. Open the door for me. Stop touching me. Can you hand I don't want to. No, what are you doing now? No, what? Same thing you were doing before. Just going back and forth. Okay? You're under arrest. Oh, Miranda resisting. rights. Miranda rights? No. Nope. If you were this, you are resisting. I'm resisting. Yes, you are. So stop. You've already got battery on LEO. Stop. Wait, on a Leo? Yes. On an August birthday? <laughs> on a Leo? No, no, no. Get off. Get off me. I don't want to be handcuffed. I don't want to be tied down. Stop it. Nobody does want that. You're constricting me. I can't breathe. You're constricting me. You're not doing anything. Really You're hurting me. Oh, you are physically hurting me right now. My chest hurts. My head hurts. My hands hurt. My wrist hurts. I know it hurts. And my shoulder blades. And my shoulders. And my back. Which is where all my organs are, by the way. So thank you. You're not cooperating. You are not cooperative. We are not a co-op. We are not a co-op. We are not a corporation. We are not a co-op. You're not a cop. You're a robber. You're stealing me. You're kidnapping me. You're abducting me. Ow, you're hurting me. Ow, no, no, stop doing it. Sit back. Sit back. You just sit down. Police attempt to remove her from the vehicle to place her in cuffs, but in a last attempt to resist arrest, she tries biting an officer. It's unsuccessful, and she's taken into the county jail for booking. But it is not always that a suspect resists arrest as this next girl demanded to be arrested. On June 4, 2022, a green Chevy Camaro is speeding and driving recklessly, nearly causing several accidents before being spotted by police. But when an officer approaches the vehicle and detects a strong odor of alcohol, it will soon become apparent just how intoxicated the driver identified as Noel Alhalmi really is. Okay, I'm gonna have you step out and you put you through a couple field sobrieties, okay? Is it in park? Why don't you put it in park for me? Perfect. In the picture. Where are you coming from tonight? Just for. Wine down. Whiskey on a whiskey. Whiskey's on a Rico. Whiskey's? Okay. Yep. All right, we're going to go over here. I'm going to run you through a couple of sobriety, see if you're okay to drive, okay? All right, you said you had two drinks? Yes. That's honest? Yes. Okay. Two and a half if you want me to Okay, how long ago? An hour ago. Times an hour ago. An hour. Okay. You ever been arrested before? No? Okay. 
All right, what I'm gonna have you do, um, you have any magical, major medical problems or anything like that, just keep your hands on your side for me, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to follow this light with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Seven, six, keep your head seven, straight. Four. Okay. Six. Seven, four. Welfare check. While Nawal claims she only had two and a half drinks an hour ago, she's clearly very drunk, slurring her words and walking unsteady. As she performs a field sobriety test, her passenger, Kavani Cavazos, will provide damning evidence about herself to the other officer. How much have you had to drink? Two. Two? Is that yeah. an honest two? Honest. Because we hear two, two is our, the number that everyone... Real with you? Yeah. I'm underage. Are you? Yes. They, they served you underage? I'm being so real with you. Like, okay. I'm not trying to go to jail. I That's gotcha. why I'm being real with you. So <laughs> like, is, she, is she underage too? Because I see the X's no, on her she's, hands. No, she's, she's 21. She's I'm 21? Not. Okay. How are they serving to you? I actually don't answer that. She's underage and has been drinking illegally. But when Noel fails the test and is placed under arrest, she'll strongly object and exit the vehicle. How are you getting home? I mean, my Three ride's right behind her, but like, I'll go with her because I don't care. No, your, ride, your ride's over there, that Ford no. Taurus. Yep, but I'm yeah. gonna go with her because I don't care. You can't go with her. No, I'm going with her. Where are you no, going? No, I'm going with her. What do you mean? I'm going with her. What does that mean? Because my, that's my best friend for nine years. Okay. I don't care, I'm going with her. What's that mean that you're going with her? I, I, I don't want her to go by herself. We're not taking you to jail. But I'm going to go with her. Well, if you want to get in that car and go up to the police station, that's fine. But no, you I can't see her. her. You can't go with her. I'm going to go right here until I go with her. You can't go with her. I'm not going without her. You can't go with her. Can I drive her car then? No. Like, I, I'm not no, going without her. No, you've been drinking too. No, I don't You care. told me you've been drinking. You're right. I'm, I, I told you how old I am too. So I know. Tell, take me with her. No. You can't go with her. So what do you want me to do? You can stand back over here. All right. You can stand away. Stop knocking on the wall. <laughs> Stop knocking on the wall. Kayani adamantly insists on going with her despite pleas for her to stay in the car. But her reasoning that she doesn't care isn't exactly sound. By her defiant tone, it seems she isn't taking the situation seriously. She wants us to take her with, I know with you, she but. Does, that's but don't we, take her with her, please. I mean, we don't want to. Can you please stop? But she needs to, like, really calm down. Stop what? They're gonna take you with you. I don't care. I want them to take me with you. No. I want them to take me with you. Shut like up. either they take me with you or nothing. I don't care. I'm gonna stand right here until they take me with you. I'm gonna stand right here until they take me with you. I don't care, Noel. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. They're gonna take me with you or nothing. Ma'am, calm down. You're being disorderly. What? I said, calm down. You're being disorderly. No, take me with her or nothing. No, well, I don't care. I don't care. The last thing care. she I needs. Care. I don't care. No, well, is to get arrested as well. I'm Jordan right now. I don't care. Listen to my voice. I'm not gonna I don't care. Either, either are they taking with you? Or I don't care. Please. No. They're not gonna No, I don't care. No, not a hotel. I'm not take you with me either way. Please. Take, uh, can take me with her or not? Not a hotel. I'm gonna stand right here until they take me with you. They're not going with you. I don't care. Do you know how they replace that? I don't care. We're going to jail. I don't care. We're going to jail. No, well, I don't give a. I'm going with you or nothing! I don't go with you or nothing! While Nawal seems rational, her friend is increasingly less so. Shitri's reasoning with Kayoni from the backseat, but it seems she'll stand by her no matter what, even if it means ending up in handcuffs. Kayoni's boyfriend then arrives to take her home in hopes that he can convince her to back down before it's too late. Hey ma'am, is there anything else? Please go home! Go home! Go home. Go home. Did you not take her? I'm going take with her, her. I don't care! Go home! Yeah. Go the I don't give a Jordan. You didn't answer the phone. I really can't. You didn't answer the phone. Yes, I did. Yes, you didn't. Please go with Jordan. Jordan, Jordan. Roll the window. No, I don't care. Don't talk to Jordan. I want to go with her. I cannot go with her. There's Sean. I don't care. I don't give a. Listen to me. I promise we'll figure it out, but you can go with her. I have like. I have like these Bro, I'm not gonna leave without her. Why would I leave without her? Because she's gonna be out in eight hours. All right, and I'm gonna go with her no, in eight hours. Not. No, you're not. Yes, in eight like, hours, go you home. Be there for her. Go home. No. Just on, go with the Listen home. to me. I'm gonna stay right here until I go with her. Let me talk to Jordan. Okay. So go ahead. I'm gonna stay right here until so, I go with her. Let me talk to you about this real quick. Jordan. So, if you get arrested tonight, and I'd rather go with her. Okay. You're not gonna be Hold with her. her. You won't be with her. You guys are gonna be separated. All right. So there's no point. Like you're not gonna be able I'm to talk to her. I'm not gonna let her be by herself. Her mom, first of all, is gonna kill me. Why? Second, because I've known her for ten f***ing years. I'm gonna stand Why right here. I don't care. I really don't care. Is either you take me with her, or I'm gonna stand right here until you guys don't. I'm gonna stand outside. I'm gonna kill stand. I don't give a f go home. No, you yep. not go. We are. I don't give a. F 
In eight hours, I promise we'll be there for eight, eight hours. Eight hours is not enough. I want to be here with her right now. Well, you can't be here with Too her bad. right now. This Too bad. Too bad. Go home. Listen to me. Go the home. About your mom. She is not. I don't give. My mom is at home. I don't care. Exactly what you need to do. Can you go shut Noah's door? No, babe. That's Can you go shut Noah's door? No. Babe. Can you go shut Noah's door? Maybe there are things I'm gonna way stay right more. Here. And now the Noah's door. I don't give. Listen to me. I really don't give. Go home. Stay right there, then. You might as well go home. Can you stay right there? You might as well go home. You might as well go home. Can you stay right there? You might as well go home. You might as well go home. You need to. You need I need to you to go home. You need to don't, stand right don't touch there. me. Okay, just so stand right up there. Go home. Just stand right no, up there. No, go home. Can you, we just Please need don't you out of the road. I get it. I get it. I get it. Go home. We need you out of the road. Either you go home. I'm gonna stay here by myself until they go home. All right, I'm gonna take her in. Go home. Go home. Go the home. Baby, you can't go. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna Trump, follow, them. Go follow them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Babe. No. Stay right here. Baby, Kiki. I don't go into me. Bye, Kiki. You can't. You, there's nothing you can do here for her. We will go find where she is. She's at the Wind Up Police Station. Yep. You're really gonna miss me, Z? Oh. And uh. Like, why did you pull up? Why the are you here right now? No, you don't need me right now. All right. Give me my babe, babe. Give me my no, you're going to jail now. No, no, All right, go you're ahead. You're going to jail. Take me to jail. No, please, please, let me just cool. talk to her. You're no, under arrest okay. for disorderly. Babe, please, it's please. Wait, 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 officer. No, please, please. Please, this is going to change everything for her. Please, I don't I, care. I, she's, please. I gave her every opportunity please, in the world. I, I'm trying. Please, just let me, let me reason with her. No, nope, sorry. Officer, please, I like, I'm begging you. So over. Officer, please, I'm, like, it's too late. I, I'm, really, I'm really trying to do everything. Listen, we get it. Listen, we gave her more than ample opportunity. Please, 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 Kayoni's boyfriend tries to calm her down, but she hurls abuse in his face as well. Police decide to make an arrest if only for her own safety, and she has no one to blame but herself. Strangely enough, being put in cuffs seems to calm her down. As if she's now content having finally gotten what she wanted, being arrested and taken to jail. Hi mom, hi, I'm in jail. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't, I'm, I'm not trying to say it's funny, but I'm just like, you know, I'm sorry, I'm drunk, I'm in jail. I know Deshaun told you, I just want to let you know I called you because you're a lawyer number that I know. I think they said that I had to stay 12 hours? 12 hours. At least 12 hours, yeah, I have to stay at least 12 hours. You can grab cash if you want. I have cash in my room. 250. It's going to be 250. Okay, well, I wasn't going to leave no one by herself. All right, I love you. Goodbye. See you in the morning. Enjoy your stay. She'll now have to break the news about her arrest to her mom, but her tone will seem like she's taking her arrest very seriously, and in fact, may be a little proud of it. Kayuni received charges of misdemeanor disorderly conduct, as well as a citation for underage drinking. Nawal was charged with OVI, along with several traffic violations. But as crazy as these cases were, wait until you see what happens when police catch kidnappers red-handed.